Okay, welcome back. Let me quickly open a new a new file for this particular form that we want to create now. So when you come here, I want to paste the number code with Habiba to CSS class. Okay, then for to call the HTML. First group is the file for the assessment. This one has already been written in the list. Okay. So I can as well create another one here. So form the HTML. So inside we're gonna get new form. I want to use it because of the image you so you can create it anywhere you like so I can easily link this file this CSS file to this one too okay let me generate my HTML snippet then I'm coming in for link uh, CSS. So I've linked it now. All right. So now let's go to body. Uh, I'll be showing us what our prototype. So this is what we want to create. The first thing up here is sign up. So this sign up now it is obvious that it is it is under H1, and then everything is being centralized. So let me go back. So I'm going to be starting with a divider. Okay. So uh, everything I want to create on this form, I want them to fall inside this divider. Now, because from these sign offs, there is something common to them all. So I'll be able to effect that thing to the divider directly, and that is that it is all centralized. Okay. To be getting the gist so that's why i'm using this div so inside this div now i can choose uh, an id let me say new form so that's the identity of that one inside div you can actually use id or you can use class whichever one so, but I'm using this now. So now, so we have what after this on an H1. Is it H1 that the user like H3? So, what is the name they wrote here? Sign up. Okay. So, sign up form. Let me add it like that. Sign up form. So let me save and view what we have here. Okay, maybe we should use H1. H1. You don't know why that tree is showing already because I linked the other uh, the CSS I've been working on. That is what I also linked to this one. So sign up for fine. So after the sign up form, then we have after the heading. So let me see what we have there. We have this, and we can see that this one has another background on its own. Should meaning that this is another divider entirely. So for this divider now, I can choose another div. Okay. So another div. I can give it a class of um English class now. So I can give it the class name of form. 
this to form two. Make sure you like in just the form. So form. So inside the divider is where we are going to be putting all our inputs now. So we're going to be putting the input here. So uh, see you in the next class.